Sure I will. Okay. Yeah. Pastor Davis has been going on about having his wife having problems for months. So he came today and he told me that he needed me to attend this business dinner with him because his wife refused to go. And you know, we might not go so to come to like I always do. And girl, he leaned over to kiss me in the phone right and pop the kiss for the back. Yolanda, did you hear me? <laughs> oh, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I hear you. I'm just trying to figure out where all this excitement is coming from. Because <laughs> what I don't understand is this. What is the deal with you and married men in ministry? That's all you attract. You know what, Yolanda, girl, I promise you. I didn't have nothing to do with this. That Pastor Davis just kind of pushed up on me. <laughs> just kind of pushed up on me. Girl, sit down. Uh uh, girl. I'm not he, shy. He just kind of pushed up on me. <laughs> he pushed up on me. <laughs> I'm not shy, Kristen. I seen it coming. So you couldn't tell him no, huh? I didn't want to tell him no. <laughs> Kristen, you should see yourself. You just lit up like a Christmas tree at Christmas time. Chico Bells, Chico Bells. <laughs> Chris, please don't get caught up with this man. It's only gonna lead to lots of party. You have to be deserve to be first. And I don't mean first lady. Because being second to anybody should ever be a characteristic of you. Well, you know what, you love? I'm not like you, but I'm just not content with being by myself. I need me somebody. Hmm. And let me tell you like this, Chris. Somebody is what you got. Because what she really getting is a temporary fix. Mm. That leaves her one more. And these men are not able to give it to her. Oh, who they give me much more than you know. And what's that? Never ending hope? Mm. But let me ask you a question. 